All right, we're on hole number 15. So last hole, we were in thir on hole number 13, we were in 50th place. And we got the eagle on on hole number 14. So we've moved up just that two shot change has moved us up halfway up the chart. So there are a lot of 21s here. So it goes all the way down to 39th. So there's a lot of people shooting in the 21 range. And it looks like 21's definitely gonna gonna make it, and some of these 20s might, just depending on the people down at the bottom. So I'll be curious to see as we move up how it goes. So we're on hole number 15. And hole number 15 is the par four. So you know, this hole has never really been nice to me, but I am feeling more confident on this hole. I've changed where I'm approaching the green down here, and I've changed the shot, and I'm just playing a straight sniper at one per ring, even though I'm at minimum club, and it seems like I'm at, I'm at least getting closer than I normally do. It feels like I have a shot at it now. So the first shot up here with a quarterback, very little write this number down. I, I wrote myself a new note sheet, but I didn't write this number down. It's one and a half top spin max. So on the drive shot on this, I'm going to use one and a half top spin maximum. And I'm using my accurate bag. And I'm using a katana. Now the Katana helps you on the drive, it does give you a little bit better wind, it does give you a little more distance, but you know on the drive shot you can get that drive shot done with any ball. But the second shot, this hole, it's hard to get it so that you're you're coming at the green without having to use any side spin. I mean even if you're in the optimal spots up there, having a ball with side spin will help you out a lot on this hole. So maximum one and a half top spin. We're just doing a layup shot here. I want to be more towards the middle. Two six. And I'm gonna do a three ring pull just because I'm I'm not necessarily adding on any percentage, but I just want to make sure I'd rather be a little short. It's not gonna affect our shot. And I hit it great to the left. Which, if you had an extra mile, would have put me in the rough of the sand. But once again, quarterback, accuracy, fairway. If you're having a hard time with distance on some of these holes or or you're having a hard time with your accuracy or you're having you know go out there and play with your quarterback drop down a tour where you're you know if you're playing in tour five go back to tour two or three if you're playing in tour six go back to three or four where you're not losing a lot of of cash and you can go down there and afford to just go out there and just play with that club there are holes you you know Okay, so here's my red line. So I'm right at the red. I want to give myself enough maneuver room that I can adjust the wind out. I want to go straight at it. It's 1.1 per ring. So 3-4 is just a little shy of 3.5 rings. And now I just want to hit it perfect. I want to hit this perfect because I need, I want to be able to get some data from this. Isn't it perfect? So I was a little low of the cup. And it went in the hole. I cannot believe that. <laughs> this hole is, and I was aiming right at that spot. I was actually a little low of the cup. Because it always seems, it always tends to seem to go to uh, to the left. So I should have went right at it. But I'm I absolutely cannot believe that this this hole. I've had lots of problems with this hole. I'm the birdie is always really easy, but I've had a lot of 
I haven't had a lot of success with eagle, so to get an eagle on this hole is just absolutely <laughs> spectacular. All right, let's see how our opponent does. They're going right at it. A little short. That was an excellent eagle. That was the shot that I was looking for. So that gets us one, that gets us where we want to be. So we got the last three holes and the last, and what's cool is the last three holes we do have serious shots on all three of these holes, these last three holes to pick up one. So that that shot right there put us up into that eagle put us up into the uh, top 10 so 24 start at 9 so what I'm saying is is that when this is all said and done we're probably gonna see at least the top I'm thinking probably the top 13 to top 15 are gonna be 24s because there are a few people there at the bottom that will jump on and play and 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 get those scores. So if the top, let's say 13 or 24s, then you bring in another group where it was the same numbers, you're looking at, you know, 26 to 30 people who shot 24s or better. So the tiebreakers are going to be critical in the weekend round. All right, that was hole number 15 of the Vintage Open Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.